All right, let's get started with our stance. Now, the first thing you want to establish, if you're an orthodox or a southpaw. Now, if you're a right-hander, you're going to step back with your right leg, like so. That means you're an orthodox boxer. If you're a left-hander, you're going to step back with your left leg, like so. And that means you're a southpaw boxer. Now, I'm a right-hander, so I'm an orthodox, so I'm going to step back with my right leg. Now, with our stance, you want to make sure your feet are roughly shoulder width apart, and you want to have a slight bend in your legs, and that's for your balance. The next thing we want to do is rest your elbows on your ribs, bring your hands to your chest, and the last thing is bring your head to your hands. So your chin comes down, look through your eyebrows, and that's your stance. Now, the reason we rest our elbows on our ribs is to be protected from body shots, and we have our hands up and our chin down, so our chin's protected by our hands. Now, once we've got our boxing stance, we have to establish our front side and our back side. So our front side is the arm and the leg closest to your opponent, arm, leg, and your back side is the arm and the leg furthest from your opponent, and that's usually your power side. Now, from here, we're gonna talk about our punches. Our first type of punch is the straight punches. So with our straight punches, we've got the jab and the cross two basic shots. Now the jab is done with your front hand or your lead hand and all you simply do is turn your thumb down, rotate and extend your arm all the way out and just make sure your shoulder protects your chin and your non-punching hand is up. So it goes from A out to B back to A. Now I'm just going to do it a few times, boom, just like that, boom. Nice and relaxed, comes out, comes back. Start it slow and as you get used to it, you can start to pick up the pace and just making sure you're nice and relaxed in between your punches and you take the tension away from your shoulders. So we don't want to be up here when we punch, we want to be nice and relaxed. One more jab and back. Nice and easy. Now the next straight punch is a cross. Now this is usually done with our power hand, our back side or our rear side. So what you want to do a slight, a little bit more of a rotation with your hips and a slight rotation with your shoulders. You rotate, twist, Drive that back hand all the way straight. Again, shoulder protects the chin, non-punching hand stays up, and then back to our stance. One, two, one, two. Do it a few more times, a little bit quicker. Bah, that's the cross. Bah, that's the cross. Boom, and hands up. So there are your straight shots. Our next set of punches is the hooks. So these are your bent arm punches. And we're gonna start with the front hand, Again, slight rotation through your hips and through your shoulders. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna make our arm almost like a semicircle and in the shape of an L, just like so. So from here, keep them legs bent, twist and rotate, elbow comes up horizontally, make that L shape with your arm, and then straight back. Now with all your punches, including the hook, make sure you always stop with your knuckles in line with your chin. So you don't wanna punch out here or punch out there. A few more times with the front hook, bang, straight back, boom, straight back. One more time, bang, easy. Now the back hook, exact same thing, just with the back hand now. Rotate, twist, make that L shape with the back hand, and then bring it back. One, two movement, going from A to B, twisting that body, and landing that back hook. Couple more times, bang, one more, Boom, that's the knockout shot right there. Now that's our hook guys, now we're gonna move on to our uppercuts. With our uppercuts, we wanna make a U shape with our arm. So keeping your legs nice and bent, the key here is that the punch is nice and short and it's not a long windy punch. Again, having them knees bent, little bend down, and with our front hand, we're just gonna lift our hand up and stop our knuckles in line with our chin and straight back. Lift, bring it up, down, Slight rotation, bring out that uppercut, making that U shape with the arm and straight back. Actually quite simple, and it's actually the shortest punch in boxing. So no big windy spaghetti arms, just from here, boom, short, sharp shot. A few more reps, bang. And again, boom, one more time, boom, easy. All right guys, the last punch, the back uppercut. Same deal, now with the backside, our power hand, bend them legs, drive up, twist and rotate and then stop, knuckles in line with the chin. Let's go for it. Back uppercut, back uppercut. Making sure our non-punching hand is always up. Boom, a few more times, bang, bang. Last one, boom, easy. 
Well done, guys. Now, there are basic shots. Now, to conclude, we're going to move on to footwork. Okay, guys, the last, probably the most important thing is your footwork. Now, we're going to talk about moving forward and moving back. So in your boxing stance, get nice and comfortable. Now, when we move forward or back, it's always a one-two step. So it's almost like a dance move. Now, when we move forward, we're going to lead with the front side. So the front leg goes first, followed by the back leg. Now, the most important thing here is your feet always stay shoulder width and they never come too close because if they come too close, you can lose your balance. Now, if I was to go back, lead with the back foot, one, follow with the front foot, two. A few more times up and back, forward, one, two, back, one, two. Nice and easy. Forward, one, two, back, one, two. Now, you can start to do it a little bit quicker. One, two, forward, one, two, back. And making sure here, guys, when you move your feet, you're never moving your arms. We never want to get out of our stance or drop our hands. Our hands are always up. Our feet do all the work, move us forward, move us back, and in our boxing stance the whole time. Well, that's it, guys. You know your stance, your basic punches, and your foot movements forward and back. Now it's time to get started.